Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and we are in Rochester, New York, and we are at the Gateway Park along the Genesee River. Um, in the background, you can see what looks like our twin bridges down in, in Albany area. This is uh, Rochester's, and we're going to take a little walk around here. It's a, uh, I think it's the Genesee River Park Trail, something of that nature. Um, you see the sign here? No, you can't see the sign here. <laughs> You're looking at me. Hold on, let me turn us around. Okay. Okay, now you can see the sign. And uh, it's uh, pleasant. This is the Genesee River here. Uh, skyline of Rochester. And I will zoom in, but on the building over there, you can see Mercury on top of that building. That used to be a restaurant, and that used to be a security trust building, I think, with the wings on top. I can't remember now. But, uh... This Genesee River, that's looking uh, south along the river. The University of Rochester is that uh, building in the background that you see. And then uh, this walks up to, I think, the first, I don't know if it's the first falls, but we'll walk up here a bit. Blue Cross Marine, or arena. Quite a bit of controversy about that for the simple reason it was the Rochester War Memorial. And then they started selling off names. Not sure what that wall was part of, but probably part of the Erie Canal at one point. That's what I'm guessing. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. We'll take a walk up in there and see what's up there, too. What you're looking at here, apparently you can dock here, I guess. Um, this, is, this is 490, the interstate that goes through the city. That's the police department over there. When they put this in, they took out a huge spiritualist church. And, uh, well, so much for that. City State Park that they have put in for the local youth.
what this is, it's a dam, obviously. Probably at one time it was part of the Erie Canal. That is what I'm guessing. Then, water control, obviously. The Genesee River. Again, a Better view of downtown. <coughs> Must be apartments, I would imagine. Something new that's here. Sign about what's going on, going on here. Uh, Elisha Johnson built the Johnson Seymour Dam in 1817. Lasting rock from the site in celebration of the village's first 4th of July. Dam directed water to race plays on both sides of the Johnson River to provide water power. Last boat crossed the Erie Canal Aqueduct in 1919. Possibly. <coughs> uh, before being rerouted south of the city through Jensen Valley Park, the dam was reconstructed to raise the water level of the river along the Jensen River to serve as a spur of the Erie Canal, now part of the new Barge Canal. Boats came to the riverside docks until the opening of the St. Lawrence Seaway in 1950. Location map. an idea. Where the Erie Canal used to go, which is uh, right here. This was the aqueduct, now Broad Street. And uh, let's see. There's the dam there, there's the dam there. And here we see, we're standing sort of where the Erie Canal was. Uh, we will walk back that way. Oop. We are kind of standing where that picture was taken. Kind of, sort of. Because there's the dam here. The raceway is right there. Goes back up that way. And so this, we are standing on what was part of the Erie Canal at one time. <coughs> and it uh, went down over there. Now the inner loop is part of the old uh, Erie Canal also. Sign here about the transportation. Location map, you are here. And then over here. So that would have been part of the Erie Canal at one time. This is the raceway below us here.
the Erie Canal would have gone right across here. And this must have been the promenade at Erie Harbor. <coughs> the Barge Canal Harbor. So we would be, we're on that, that's the bridge they're looking at. And we're looking that way. <coughs> and then, uh, this used to be the aqueduct for the canal. Car down there, no, Bright Street. Who is that took this in Bright Street? Pretty sure. In any case, that is the old subway over there. And back when I was very young, well, back in my 20s, we actually climbed in underneath there and went up there. So this is, now we come down through Rochester here. Mighty Genesee River. Well, we are going to pick back up. I'm going to walk down past the bridge again. And uh, we'll pick up along the way. <coughs> well, we were just down over there. There's where the uh, aqueduct would have been. We're at the dam here. And this is, uh, although somewhat <coughs> uh, lusted, I guess, if you want to think of it that way, we have some of the information here. There's a map of the area. Historic districts. We're on the Riverway Trail, Genesee Riverway Trail. <coughs> There's the bridge. This was part of the Erie Canal. That's what all this was. The canal came right through here on this side of everything. So these, uh, these stones that we see here are part of the old canal. So the canal came right through here. Obviously the bridge has wiped out a good portion of it. Back to the skate park. So this was probably part of the, uh, well it was part of the canal here, it could have been part of the locks, hard to say. It's all been changed of course because of the, uh, the situation. <coughs> Pardon me, Rock City Skate Park. Native plants, native plants indigenous that have evolved in certain actually, obviously. So these are butterfly weed. I'm not going to go through all of them here, but 
purple corn flower. Interesting. <coughs> I also can't get over the size of this bridge. When you're up close, apparently you can get up inside of it too. I'm not sure why anybody would, but you could. over here on the other side of this little hill was probably the Erie Canal. This looks like it was added. The part over there kind of lines up with this over here and of course we've got this here. I have to say where the locks were and things per se. Rather flat here, probably no locks in here. But this was part of the Erie Canal in here. <coughs> when they originally put them in, they didn't use the natural riverways, <coughs> they bypassed them, so I was trying to dig out uh, a river, might be more difficult than building a canal, I'm not sure, but this is certainly part of the canal here, and uh, I'm not sure what this was up here. This looks like the, the width of the canal at the time. Oh, well, I'm not sure what this is. <coughs> I'm not sure at all. Well, <coughs> it must have had something to do with the canal be quite obvious I, I guess it would seem like it would be part of the canal rather high up there well I don't know certainly it's a that was a building that was a driveway into it at one point. Went up and down over that hill. This was a driveway. This was a building. Hard to say what that was. I don't know. Something was rather large was attached to the floor there. Over there, it had to have something to do with the canal. That's, I, 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 I have to believe. Either the Erie or the <coughs> Barge Canal that they put in afterwards. This looks like something that's been added much later in the game. Not sure what all that is. rodents and things. Some pot, some some shards of pipe or something there. It's it 
It's weird that it's down here like this though. Water? This had to be a building. This, I would have to say this was a building. What it was used for, I have no idea. No idea at all. It's just, you can see something had, was bolted to the floor, uh, spaced out. And they were round. There's something that was square up there. This is round. This almost looks like it was maybe an office of some sort. I don't know. Again, we've got another round one here. <coughs> Nothing here. Huh? Something was bolted there at one point. And again, something round was here. And this was the driveway, there's no doubt about it. It came down from up there and drove in. And whatever it was stopped in here somewhere. So there had to be a door somewhere in here, I would imagine. And here's a grate. This makes me feel even more so that was part of part of the whole operation. Yeah, it's full of water. I'm not sure what this was. Pipe sticking out of the ground. Water treat? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go back up there. I'm going to pick back up up there. And, uh, We'll see what's going on when I get up there. Well, we we're, we're just came down over that hill. Uh, we're back to what I think is part of the Erie Canal, or was. I almost think there was a double set of locks here. Because I see this over here also. And there's cable. So... I am going to try to get up that hill. And I'll talk to you on the top if I get up there. So we were just down there. I crawled up that hill. Which wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And there's where we were a few minutes ago. Down over there. Just trying to be careful not to fall. Because it's not a hill. Flowers are, are planted down there, so there was something something there. This looks uh, obviously now over there is uh, where the canal would have run. We're just over there. What this is, I just don't know. It almost looks like it was some. I don't know. I am going to try to pick up over there somewhere. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera off while I do that. So I was just standing over there. I found this little trail in here. I'm going to follow it around. There's the bridge. There's 490. Again, more, more pipes. I cannot imagine what this could have been. It had to have been something to do with the canal. That's the only thing I can think of. Because here again, you can see it down there. There's where the road is. There's Genesee. I am, I am perplexed. 
But this is something that's uh, a fairly well-worn path. Sign down there, I wonder what it says. Oh, there's signs all around down there. I wonder what they say. I'm not going down to find out. I'm sure I will come across a sign somewhere. There's that little trail. I wouldn't doubt people sleep in there when they can do it. There's some more over there that I would suspect is part of the canal. There's the uh, the whole view from up here. A long building with something inside. Generators? I, I really don't know. Storage tanks? Hard to say. I'm gonna go back down to this old trail here and uh, follow it. Oh. Well. pick up back over there. This looks semi not treacherous but problematic. I'll pick up in a few minutes. Well we're we were just standing over there and I came across this really thin spot up here. Uh, again the back. This is um I'm not sure what this is but it's, it's all rock and stone. So again, uh, homeless. I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting spot. I am going to let my car is right over there. We have walked around through here. I am going to. Uh, Go down there and walk back to my car. So I hope you liked this little walk. This was one of those unplanned sort of things that uh, I was I was driving around Rochester and I saw the sign. I said, "Hey, I'm going to check this out." And there we find part of the Erie Canal, uh, a fairly historic spot too. I'm coming up on one of these signs. Let's see what it says. No trespassing. Here, let me turn. No trespassing violators will be prosecuted. Interesting. Well, it would have been nice if there was a sign where I walked in. That's Spectrum over there. Their tower. Yes, sir, there is a number of things here that are certainly odd. Just signs that say no trespassing. Well, well with that, um, that's our little look around here. No, actually it's not. I'm going to go one more spot. Yes, I am. Right over there. This has a, uh, you know, some sort of a stairway. So by all means, let's go over and take a look. See what's, what's what. It almost looks like you could kind of dock here. I mean, there's certainly, there's certainly st stairs or, or ladders going down into the water. It's 
actually kind of a little gem here within Rochester. I, I bet you a lot of people, unless you live around here, don't really know about it. <clears throat> no, nothing really. Just sort of a grand stairway. I thought maybe. But nope. No plaques. Which in some ways is sort of odd. None. Wow. <coughs> With that, I'm going to go back to the car. Hope you enjoyed the walk. As typical, I'll ask if you will please subscribe. Ring the bell. So you know when I got something coming out. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Tell others. Have a good day.